on a recent Fight Height interview, Errol Spence was, you know, he was getting asked questions about upcoming fights, old guys, um, Terrence Crawford, stuff like that. And when, you know, he was perfectly fine until they got to Terrence Crawford and then he started twiddling with his damn ears, started twiddling his ears, playing with his ears. You know what they say, man, when... When somebody plays around with their ears when they ask a question or they start fidgeting and stuff, that they're lying about something. You know, he started that Tommy stuff. You know, like on Martin, Tommy was lying. He'd be like, uh, I remember dumb, uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Yeah, he was, he was twiddling them ears, boy, like a fucking guitar string. He was up there just a twiddling away. And his demeanor just, I don't know, man. If you If you look at Errol now, and then you look at his older videos. It just don't... Something ain't, not, something ain't right with Errol, man. I just don't know what it is. Something's off about him. Like, he just seems really... Like he's slurred. Almost like... Almost sound punch drunk. Like he's been fighting for 30 years or something. But it's not the case. You know, he hasn't taken that much ring damage. At all. You know, so what else is going on with Errol Spence? I don't know, but... I know for sure when they asked him about Terrence Crawford, he started playing with his ears, turning his head to the left, turning it this way, and like that's that's common that is common behavior and characteristics when people are annoyed with something or they just don't want to deal with something or they don't care. Or they, they start doing little little signals. Those are the signs and they start grabbing his ears and like uh, whatever. It's kind of like, you know, you're sitting down, you're eating, like you're a kid, you're sitting down eating ice cream, and ice cream is good, and you don't have no other care in the world, and you're just swinging your legs all over the place, eating candy, eating a lollipop, you don't care about nothing else but that lollipop, it's not even the whole world, you give not, no, not even one fucks about. It's the same thing I see with the arrow, uh, you know, twiddle, twiddle ears spins. Yeah. I had to get out on them. Cause I peeped that, and you know it's crazy. A lot of other people were saying the same thing. They peeped it, and they understood it. Let me just add this one thing. This is not going to be long. We add one more thing. Um, a certain channel that begins with the letter B. He was over there, really talking about Terrence Crawford being disrespectful to Errol Spence. He was mainly talking about the beach situation when he was calling Errol a punk ass and. And I'm like, bro, are you really trying to defend this grown ass man? Bro, this is boxing. They both have the right to be disrespectful a little bit to each other, man. And that was light work, man. It wasn't like uh, Terrence Crawford said something about Errol's moms or dissed his kids or something. He didn't take it there. He was, you know, mainly going at Errol. Like, where you at? You, you punk ass nigga. This is boxing, bro. This is this is what sells the fight. What the fuck was he talking about? I never I don't understand this dude. How was that disrespectful to um Errol Spence? It's not disrespectful. That's, that comes with the territory. That's part of spicing up and building up the fight. And it's funny that he that he said this because I just got through making a video a day or two ago and I was saying how Terrence Crawford is the you know, he's the aggressor, but he still needs to do more. And then I see this video, and he's talking about Terrence Crawford being disrespectful to Errol Spence. And I'm like, disrespectful where, bro? Did he talk about his mama? He did, yo, Terrence Crawford never even talked about, um, like, he never even really disrespected him with the car accident. I remember one thing Terrence Crawford, I think the team said it. It wasn't even actually Bud. It was something about the car accident. Um, but it wasn't nothing like, you know, yeah, motherfucker, you shouldn't, you should be crippled. And you know, it was nothing like vindictive and, and fucked up like that. It was just, it was a light jab, you know, no pun intended. You know, so all this sensitive, what is this sensitive shit for? These are, these are combat sports warriors, bro. Let them talk what they gonna talk. Let them talk what they gonna talk. But what you need to talk about, bruh. And, you know, the channel that started with the letter B, you talk about Errol's wife, I mean, his girlfriend, being disrespectful to him. Talk about that. I mean, I think I, 
maybe he did and I didn't, I didn't catch it or nobody sent it to me but see I don't have his videos in my alert anymore when I was you know when I first started YouTube I used to watch his videos now I got a certain like two people I, that I fuck with they actually go watch they they stay on BFTB's like videos looking at the comments looking at his lives they don't rock with him they don't even comment and they let me know yo look bft this dude right here he said he's saying this and you know this down the third and then i'll look at it like oh this motherfucker here you know but I, that should make their boy look soft man he should never said that man like because like i said it's combat sports they people gonna get nasty with the mouth talk it's gonna happen it's what it is Mike Tyson wanted to eat Living Slewis children. You know? He wanted his heart. He wanted to eat his children. You know what I mean? Like, boxers have got very disrespectful. Um, uh, what's his name? Gary Russell found with Leo Santa Cruz Pops, put his arms around him and shit. Like, like come on, man. This is boxing. What the fuck is you talking about? If, if you want everyone to be protected, and you worry about him being disrespected, shit, man, then. They put everyone on a soap opera or something. Psh, unbelievable. But anyway, let me know what you think. Uh, drop a comment. Support the channel. Catch y'all on the next one. And I'm out.